Hi, my name is Lisa, and thank you for visiting Jim and Lisa's Troutman Steel YouTube channel and TroutmanSteel.com. We are developing our hunting camp, which is Florida Hunt USA, and you can check that out at FloridaHuntUSA.com. And we are experiencing trouble with some of our electronic feeders, so we're going to make a hog pipe today that also attracts deer and hog and is a little bit durable, we hope. So far we've had great luck with that. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to make it. I'm going to make it. So I basically bought a 10 foot 4 inch PVC pipe at uh, Lowe's, which we pretty much live at lately. Um, they take a military discount, so we're very fortunate for that. So I've got a 10 foot and I'm going to make two hog pipes out of this. What I've already done is marked one foot sections. One foot, one foot, one foot. And at the five foot mark, I took my marker and just made the line all the way around so it's easier for me to saw. So I'm going to go ahead and saw this pipe into five foot sections and then we'll proceed. So I'm going to line up my saw and Get it in there. Yeah. I'm going to set this all off to the side as I'm done with that. And now we have two five foot hog pipes. So this is beautiful. So I'm going to work with this one and I'll just kind of go through some of the supplies that you need. You got a four inch pipe. So you're going to need a four inch cap. You're going to need a four inch, this is called a sleeve, um, it's smooth on this side and threaded on this side, which will go on this end. We've got a three inch cap that will fit in here and we're going to put gravel in it so that there always sounds like there's corn in it. We have, um, this is called a uh, clean out cap, called? clean out cap, a clean out cap. We're going to drill the eye bolt drill the eye bolt into here to hold the chain. We've got two washers and two bolts on the eye bolt. We've got two quick links or French links. That'll help uh, the chain. We've got one of these. Dog leash. A dog leash hook with a swivel. Make sure that you get one with a swivel. And you need about a two inch ring. And this is so you can stake it down. You're also gonna need some chain. We got five, five foot sections here. And if you uh, don't want to kill yourself, depending on the quality of your chain, one of the things that I discovered with the bolt cutters is that if you use the ground as leverage, I'll just show you right here, I'm going to take off one link. You just put it all the way in. Watch your fingers. Make sure you got it in there good. And just press down with it. So it's not, it's not difficult at all, actually. I was very impressed with how easy it was. So I just took off a link to the chain. And I still have plenty of chain to use for the hog pipe. All right, so we're going to go through the motions here. What I'm going to do first is drill the hole in the top of this clean out thing. And uh, I'm just going to hold that down on my feet. Hope I don't spin it. Trying to get a good angle. Slow and steady. I'll get it through. And I'll reverse it out. There you go. Right. Yeah. So I have a nice hole in there. I'm going to set that off to the side. And what we'll do with this is we put the eye bolt. Ooh, be careful of that. You're going to put the eye bolt in with the bolt that it comes with, a washer to the hole, another washer, and another bolt. Screw that in. fun part. It's all fun. And actually this can all be done in about 10 minutes. If you have all the equipment and you're ready to go. And I think about a two inch eyeball is a good length. You just want a nice firm grip there. You don't really want it sticking out over that pipe, that clean out, that surface right there. So that's ready to go for that. And the next thing we're going to do is put the three inch cap inside. So I'm going to glue the exterior of this and stick it in this end. So I'm going to put some gloves on. Got my PVC glue. We like to use the 
the two in one, right, Jim? We don't need the primer. We just it's it's both. Now, what I do is glue this on and then just stick it in, and then I'll turn it upside down and pound it in to make sure I've got it nice and flush. Put that on the mat, not to get any glue anywhere. Nice and ready. You gotta be kind of quick with this. And that's in. It's back to dry, which doesn't take long. I'm just gonna show you how you will assemble the chain to the, the clean out tube. You're gonna take your dog leash hooky thing. You're gonna put it there. You have the swivel bottom. You're gonna take one of your French or quick links and attach that. You're going to take a section of your chain, put it through the quick link, and assemble. Tighten that up. So you got that so far. At the end. So now we're going to hit, fix the other end of the chain up. We're going to take the other French link or quick link, put it through, and then you're going to put the two inch ring through there. Close that one up. And you will use this to stake it into the ground. Uh, we like to use like a two-foot stake. We have uh, some bear on our property that like to tug at things, and we're trying to keep them from damaging everything. So that is your finished product for the lid when you're done. But we're going to remove that so we can continue working. But that will all be prepared when you're done with that. Now, we're going to put some gravel in the end of this three-inch cap. So I'm going to get some gravel that we picked up. You only need about a handful. Say, I've got four rocks here. I'll see how that looks. In the thing. I think that's good. You can hear the sound that it makes. That's just four or five large pieces of gravel. Like that. And I don't have a mallet. What I'll do now is I'm going to glue the four inch cap to the end of this. So I'm going to do the inside of this PVC glue. I forgot to put my gloves on. Common mistake. I'll just try to be very careful. Now I'm going to stand it up real quick and then pound it down like that. So I get a good flush seal and and even I want to make sure that it's not cattywampus and that's done and you can hear that so it always sounds like there's corn in there that's what we're aiming for so we're gonna get the other end ready all right so you're gonna take your four inch sleeve and I'm gonna glue the interior of the smooth side and place it on here and this is what, like I said before, this is what you're going to do. You're going to end up screwing the, and then you'll put the corn in here. Clean out cap. Clean out cap. I don't know why I can't remember that. It's all right. Thank goodness for my husband. Boom. Okay. Now I'm going to slide it on. And what I'll do, same thing here, turn it up and then switch it down. Go. So there is going to be your fill station. So at the end, you're going to fill the corn. And now, this will go in here. I just have a history of not being able to get this out, so I'm not going to put this in. <laughs> it tightens up extremely tight. Um, but that is the end cap. Now, what we're going to do is drill the 5 8 holes. And this is why we marked the one foot section. We're going to drill 5 8 holes in the pipe, a foot apart and 90 degrees from when you turn. You're going to drill one hole, rotate, go down a foot, and go 90 degrees. So you've got a variety of locations for the corn to come out. We started out with a smaller than 5 8 hole and found out after we put them out in the field that it was too small. And you want to be some corn, but you also want to maintain the corn's life when you're not at the location where you're hunting. 
So, I'm just going to start here with the first one, head of foot. Now I'm going to go down. Here's the foot mark, and I'm going to go. I'm going to go this way, 90 degrees, so I know where it was. All right. Same thing. I'm just going there and cleaning it out a little bit. There you go. And I'm going to rotate down. Find my one foot mark down here. It's right here, and that's 90 degrees from there. So I'm going to go this way. Clean that one out. All right. And then one more mark. I'm right almost back to the beginning. So I'm going to go right here. There's not enough battery to finish drilling, so we'll be right back. <laughs> Just finished the last hole, so we have four 5 8 holes in this hog pipe. Now, you are done. So all you have to do now, fill it with corn. About, the, about 20 pounds of corn. Yeah, this, this, this pipe holds about 20 pounds of corn. And we hope that it'll last a long time, but still keep the animals coming in. You attach your dog leash collar there. You've got your ring. You lay it on the ground, just like that. You stake it down. I'll show you where we've got these stakes. I'm going to stake it into the ground. It's about three foot, wouldn't you say, Jim? So, depending on the ground. I mean, if you have clay, you may not need a, you know, this long a stake. So basically, you do that. Um, you could even chain it around a tree if you needed to. Um, we have also gone one step further and attached a little goat bell to this. And we've been told and hope that we will experience that. They get used to hearing the bell ring when they eat. They roll it, the corn falls out, and the gravel always makes them think that there's corn in the pipe. And when they get so used to hearing the bell, it is expected that you can go to your tree stand or your blind and carry a little bell with you, ring it, and hopefully they'll come in and you'll be able to get a great shot. So, this is our hog pipe, and we hope to get a lot of hog with it, and a few deer too. Enjoy and please come back and visit TroutmanSteel.com, Troutman Steel YouTube channel, and FloridaHuntUSA.com. Thanks for visiting.